Hi guys. Hi everybody. Misty and Sherry here with Queen Bee's Vintage. We're back. So um, we're filming an intro for some video clips that we already filmed a few weeks ago. But what we wanted to do is share a fun DIY painting tutorial with you guys. I will be working on a sign um, in this video and I'm going to show you a distressed wood painting technique along with using some iron orchid decor stamps to create a wood effect with these awesome barn wood plank uh, decor stamps that they have. So we're going to be doing that and then we're also going to be giving you a tour of our booth at the last vintage market that we did. So many of you have asked about our booth setup and what it looks like and you've asked for a tour. So we're gonna share that with you as well. So we hope you'll stick with us for it that. It was a great show, by the way. It was a really <laughs> good show. So um, mom and I are just doing a little celebrating. We're having a little labor celebration. I was in labor with this one. Tomorrow <laughs> is her birthday, so. I won't tell you how old. She'll have to do that. <laughs> that ain't happening, no. <laughs> so anyways, um, at the end of the video, she shows the sign that she's making in full, hanging in our um, tent at the, at the vintage market. And it's just beautiful. And I wanted to let you know, it sold within the first five minutes of the show. <laughs> they opened the gates. The first lady to walk in said, I want that. And it was gone as was many things in that booth in the first five minutes. So I'm we sold we're out. gonna toot our horn, <laughs> toot toot. <laughs> um, we were really excited. We sold out um, of pretty much everything within about the first two and a half hours of the show. We only brought two really small little pieces of furniture home with us. And out of about 50 signs, we only had about 12 left at the end of it. And we sold a bunch of our, our small accessories. The only too, downfall so. that day was as it was super hot. And we got a little sick from the heat. And the worst part of it is we got a flat on our new trailer. Yeah. So the people there helped us. They were so sweet. They got us fixed up. We made it home safe. It all went well. So. And if you're ever in Gardnerville, Nevada, Please visit Eddy Street Vintage Market on Eddy Street uh, in Gardnerville. It's a darling little shop. She opens up uh, once every month for four days, and she has a different theme each month. And she hosts she hosted this um, vintage artisans market and festival that we took part in. So you can also follow her over on Facebook because the shop is just amazing. So, so it's eddy street vintage market e d d y if you want to look uh, meredith up so yes. it was a great show and great we people. we had a lot of fun here's the board that we picked up at the thrift store and we're going to transform this for a sign i am going to base coat this with one single coat of Annie Sloan graphite and I'm going to cover the entire surface making sure to catch my edges and once I get this done I'll come back and show you the next step okay so I have my board painted with my Annie Sloan graphite as you can see, there's a little bit of wood showing through here and there, and that's fine. Because of the technique I'm doing, you won't see that. And for my next step, I'm going to use my Annie Sloan chalk paint in the colors Cocoa and Paris Gray. And I've got two of these inexpensive chip brushes. And what I'm gonna do is a dry brushing technique on the board because what we're gonna do is give it a weathered wood look. I've got some paper towels. I'm gonna be loading the paint onto my brush, just kissing the tips of the bristles into the paint and then wiping the excess off onto the paper towel. 
and I'll be using long brush strokes to achieve this look. So let me set up and I will give you a little bit of an idea of what I'm doing. Okay, guys, I'm gonna to try to hold the camera and do this. So I'm gonna start at one end of the board and I'm just lightly bringing the brush down and just going back and forth. As you can see, there's not a lot of paint here. You can always go back and add more, but it's hard to take paint away. So I'm gonna continue doing this with the gray and I'll show you what it looks like as soon as I get it applied. Okay guys, so I have my Paris gray dry brushed onto the board over the graphite. And now I am going to take the cocoa Isn't this a pretty color? And I'm going to do the exact same thing with the cocoa over where I just did the gray. So again, just long, even strokes. I know you guys probably aren't seeing it on camera, but like I said, I go super light. You have to have patience when doing this technique, and then you just go back and you can add, add more. So let me get some of this on here, and I'll show you my progress. I don't know if you guys can see it. Alrighty guys, I've got my cocoa on my board and it's probably not showing you, you guys the true color because I am underneath a red umbrella right now. It is super hot here. So I had to shade up. So now that I've got the cocoa, I'm gonna go back in and dry brush some of my gray in and I'll come back and show you guys that. Alrighty guys, I put another coat of gray. These big splotches are not paint, it's just um, light from the sun and stuff coming through the trees near where I have this cropped. But I wanted to give you guys a better look at it. Let me see if I can, there we go. So this is how I do my weathered wood technique. There's actually a little more to it to get this effect. And if you guys would like to see me do a full tutorial on how I create this look um, exactly, leave me a comment below. If I get enough requests, I will do a full tutorial on this. But I'm not done yet. I am really excited to show you what I'm gonna do to this next. So let me get it set up and I'll show you. Alrighty guys, so I showed you the board I painted to make it look like weathered wood. And now we're going to take it a step further and use some really great products on it to transform it even more. I'm going to use these Iron Orchid Designs decorator stamps this one is their um, barnwood planks. Let me turn it this way. So for this project, you're gonna need the barnwood pla planks, iron orchid design stamp, some of their iron orchid decor ink in soft black, a brayer. So I wanted to show you out of the package, there's two different styles of wood planking stamps. Then these are little seam and nail head stamps. And then there are three more. Actually, this one is attached to this one. Barnwood plank stamps on this one. Sorry guys, I was wrong. This is a separate, smaller wood plank stamp. So there's three on this sheet, 
two on this one and then the nail head and seam stamps. So I've laid out some wax paper and I'm just going to put a line of the ink there. I'm going to take my brayer and roll it into the ink. We want to get good coverage on the brayer. I've removed my stamps from the packaging and I'm going to just roll this ink onto my stamp. Making sure I cover it entirely. Now I'm going to take it, put it upside down. Let me move this so you guys can see. I'm going to the edge of my board here and lining it up along the side of it and I'm just going to push down. They sell an acrylic block that you can mount these stamps onto that has a handle on it and we do own it. But I had a gal tell me that when she works with these wood planks, she prefers not to put it on the block and to do it this way. So we'll give it a shot. You don't want to apply um, too much pressure because it'll cause the stamp to kind of spread out and the image to smear and bleed. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? Let me show you guys up close. See how cool that looks? So I am going to go right to, hmm, that's not such a good idea. My wax paper bled ink onto my wood, so Let's not use the wax paper, and if you do, double it up. Okay, guys, crisis averted. So what I went ahead and did is I went out and got just a piece of scrap wood that we have, and I took some parchment paper and wrapped it around the wood. My ink, I've rubbed it into the wood, and yes, it looks like it's still there, but it's actually because the wood is wet, it doesn't look too bad. I think once I go over it um, with the stamps, it'll be fine. I also have a piece that we are applying to this wood. So this will be covered up, but in the future, don't make the mistake I did. Use parchment paper, get an old piece of wood, something flat, because you want to be able to rub, um, roll your brayer into that ink. What works really good, but we're out of them right now, are those thin... Um, super thin plastic cutting boards um, that you can buy like at the Dollar Tree. That is what I really recommend when you're doing um, an application like this. So let's go ahead and continue on now that I've tidied things up and um, see what we can get this to look like. Okay, I've got my next piece. I'm gonna ink up my brayer, roll it on making sure to cover the entire design. Make sure you don't roll off of your stamp onto your project. Sorry guys, I don't have the tripod and I'm trying to get all this into the camera for you. Wow. 
voila. So let me grab one of my nail head pieces. So there's, there's two different. I think I'm gonna use this one here on the top. And I'm going to take this and where I seamed the last two together, I'm going to put this down. And there's our seam with our nail heads. So now the design I just placed here, I'm going to do that one more time and then I will come back to the top and repeat the pattern, changing up the stamps until I get completely across the board. And then I'll come back and show you how it looks when it's all finished. Alrighty guys, so here is what my finished board looks like. I am gonna give it a light sanding and to clean the stamps, I just used some Dawn dish soap on a soft scrub brush and scrubbed them clean. Mom and I are kind of particular about cleaning up our stencils and stamps. So you can see this is the stamp, one of the stamps I used, and it's completely clean. Okay guys, our booth is set up at the Artisans and Antiques Festival. Wanted to give you a sneak peek of all of our creations. Hi ladies, how are you? Thank you so much.
Well guys, we hope you enjoyed the paint tutorial and the tour of our uh, booth at the Vintage Market. If you did, we would love it if you'd give it a thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here on our channel and you'd like to follow us on this creative journey, we'd love for you to hit that red subscribe button and become um, a member of our YouTube family. Don't forget that notification bell so that you can be notified each time we upload a new video. Um, in regards to our last video and the announcement of our website, a couple of you had commented that you were having trouble accessing the website. I wanted you to know that I've gone in and corrected, I think there was an issue with the link when the video uploaded. So if you actually hit the link that's down in the description box below, it will take you directly to the website. Uh, thank you to those of you that have already been um, placing orders. We really appreciate that Very so much. much. It means so the world much. to us to have your support. And um, don't forget to use that coupon code. It is also in the description box below so that you will have some savings at checkout. And um, we look forward to coming to you guys again soon with more content. Thank you so much for watching. We love and appreciate you all. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.